jobs. Is there something a little funky with these numbers due to the government shutdown, or is this the real deal? Well, I think the government's partial shutdown was really overemphasized, I think, by most people, including ourselves. And I think that what we really see is that underlying trend of job growth is really about 180 to 190,000. This number was a little bit higher because of retail and leisure and hospitality, which may be overstated. But bottom line, the economy continues to create jobs at a healthy pace. And we did also get those revisions in September and August. How significant is that? Oh, it is significant because whenever when you have economic data, and not only, let's say, this month may be a surprise, but once you see revisions in prior months upwards, it really gives you a lot of confidence that something good is happening with respect to the labor market. So jobs are being created. We also know that average hourly earnings are up, so wages are better. So more jobs, better wages means that income growth is improving. All right, that's the positive. Let me throw some negatives at you. Labor okay. participation rate, lowest level in 35 years, and that unemployment rate still stands at 7.3%. Obviously, that's better than what it was years ago, but it's not where we'd like it to be. So how can we have this job growth and those other numbers that just hit us in the face? I think what's happening is that there's a sort of a diversion or a spreading out of success here. Those people who are younger, uh, more talented, uh, computer literate, they're getting the jobs. We're hiring enough to employ all those younger people, but the other people, less skilled, semi-skilled, slightly older people who have been unemployed for a while continue to be unemployed, and many of them are now dropping out. So what we're seeing here is a split. If you're young, successful, uh, education, you get a job, and your wages are going up. If you're not, uh, oftentimes you're dropping out. So that there's a narrowing of success in the labor market going on in the U.S. economy, which is very surprising. Well, it sounds a little depressing, too, I guess, if anyone's over 30, <laughs> right? Yeah, it really is a challenge uh, for those who are less skilled or semi-skilled.